Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new logo design tutorial and today I'll show you this type of logo design tutorial that means uh, the hexagon and the line with the proper alignment and making some letters with the shape. So let's start the tutorial. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon. Going to the file at first and going to the new options, taking an artboard which is 2000 pixel or 2000 pixel or any kind of square shape. From the color mode, you can choose the RGB for the web purpose and CMYK for the printing purpose and hit the create button. We are getting the new artboard and after that going to the line tool, drawing line like that and here uh, giving any kind of stroke color for the better like visual. After that go to the alter option button and you can make copy like this and another copy like that. Okay making them into group by pressing ctrl or command g and then making them another copy by pressing alter option button when you are getting the interset options from here the visible and then leave it and again and again and again so one two three four five that's enough for me right press and ungroup and delete the last one so here the single and here the single line and in a inside portion you are getting the double lines after that making this one a little bit bigger and bigger like that so after that select all the stuffs and making it group right press and going to the transform going to the rotate options from here 60 degree just because of the hexagon is 60 degree for the corner and make it copy select again and right press transform and rotate and in this case make it minus 60 degree and make it copy so we are getting this portion okay now now we are making here the c m u and the l or j whatever it is select all the stuffs and making it a little bit smaller press the shift and hold it okay that's good and now press ctrl or command a press shift m for the shape builders tool or here you will get the shape builders tool from here and now we'll select all the steps so here when you're selecting this one be careful the line should be more accurate and you can choose color from here it will help you out to recognize properly and here Our logo is ready now right press and ungroup select all the things uh, that means select here and press ungroup when you're getting this one this portion okay fine select all the steps controller command a and select this portion or another thing is that if you want to remove the line at a time going to the quick selection tool or magic one tool and select in one line all line will select and delete them. okay that's good and from here just turning off the stroke giving another color like this or you can use the gradient so if i use the gradient i can do that before that you have to take the background i'm making it group so keeping the outside of the artboard and then going to the rectangle tool making square shape like this i'll take the black type square shape like this and now from here i'll lock it up it will help me out to uh, like uh, work from here i'm taking this one and making this one upper side of the layer and making the alignment into middle now going to the gradient taking the gradient like this and select the gradient like red and this type of things are this one the pink and red combination is good and i'll make this one you can select all the stuffs at first then make all things into 90 degree it will help you out so here the 90 degree that's good 
and you can align it or set it up properly into ash or white this one is good okay and now i'll make it mock up that means uh, in this portion you are getting in a uh, like illustrator that is the vector file and now i'll make it mock up for the representation and here i'll lock up the white portion select this one making it group again and making it copy going to the photoshop and i have some mock-up i'll provide you the mock-up download link in my video description so here is the mock-up and here the logo text that means this one is a smart object double press over there you are getting the logo turning it off and controller command v you can make it okay and making it smaller and set it in the middle of the artboard you press s for the controller command s it will save in the next window okay let's see in the next window yeah our logo is ready you can output in jpeg for the representation or geek or whatever it is and this one is the vector one and you can make the other like a version like black white whatever it is so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share it with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i am a7 signing out stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers bye bye